Yesterday, I gave you a bunch of updates on Imran Awan and the Democratic IT scandal. Well, Luke Rosiak has new information again today. So now, um, let's see. Publication for IT security professionals says House leaders of both parties were negligent and in violation of basic IT protocol by allowing Imran Awan and his family to continue in their roles as server administrators for four months despite knowing that they were suspected of serious misconduct by the House Inspector General. Again, uh, this is blowing back on both parties now. It was a Democrat scandal. It's now both parties. It's still primarily a Democrat scandal. However, the Republican leadership is being publicly kind of indicted here, not legally indicted. And part of the reason for that, Jason Chaffetz said yesterday, was because he believes classified information is is happening here, and that's why Republican leadership is also stalling an investigation. The lack of concern and perspective on the potential risks posed by Imran Awan is alarming, according to an article in Search Security. This case is an example of negligence, trumping security, and worse yet, common sense. Awan's alleged activities and the way that many handled themselves from the hiring to the response in the wake of the investigation should concern us all. 44 House Democrats employed the Pakistani board Imran Awan and his family in a, posi- in a position where he could read all of the emails and files of one in five Democratic congressmen. The author, who is a cybersecurity expert, Kevin McDonald of Alvaca Networks, especially faults the judgment of Democratic Representative Debbie Wasserman Ramanhead Schultz. It's their official title who kept Imran on her payroll for an additional six months after the House leadership banned him from the network. Uh, he was also questioned, he also questions her claims that the IT aide was somehow providing tech services without ever connecting to the House network. Remember, he was banned from the House network. She kept him on, even though he couldn't come to work, and she was paying his salary, and he still served as an independent consultant to her. After he'd been banned from the network because he was accused of stealing equipment and stealing documents. And, of course, unauthorized breaches. At the same time, the DNC, I always got to throw this in there, at the same time the DNC was being hacked and she was the chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee. And he's the guy that had access to her iPad. And he's the guy that everybody at the DNC called when they needed her password. Mm Mm-hmm. What a coinkydink, huh? So this has led to speculation of a couple of different things. Again, um, I have to point out that the current House IT staff believes these Democrats are being blackmailed. Uh, The other question is, was Debbie Wasserman Schultz having a romantic relationship with him? And is that why she kept him on the payroll? Or does he have something on her? You know, that becomes the, the big question. We still don't have answers to that. We don't know her reasons for keeping him on board. But it made no sense. Uh, Let's see. When challenged about why she allowed a person under criminal investigation to continue to access the building, where computers are stored and used to assist with IT issues, Wasserman Schultz defended her actions by telling reporters that IT admins could assist with issues without having network access and that IT support included other elements besides the network, such as phones, printers, and software. Now, it's... Depending on what he does, it's true. Imrod did, in fact, use his continued access to the building to leave a laptop apparently purchased by Wasserman Schultz's office, uh, which he left in a phone booth on April 6 of 2017, according to Capitol Police. That is the laptop that Capitol Police took into custody as evidence in this case. That is the laptop that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, in a committee, called the chief of police in to testify about and threatened him. She threatened him while in committee because she's a noodle head. So we've got video and transcripts of her threatening the Capitol Police chief because he was, quote, stealing her laptop. Now she says the laptop isn't hers and that she never looked at the laptop to verify it was hers. And again, I ask you this question. Before you threaten the Capitol Police chief, don't you verify it's actually your laptop you're about to threaten him over? Or do you just jump to conclusions and threaten a cop? Uh Uh-huh. 
Uh, let's see. Committee on House Administration leader Republican Greg Harper and Democrat Bob Brady learned the Awan family was suspected of equipment theft back in April of 2016, but did not suspend their network access. Instead, tasking the Office of Inspector General for the House of Representatives with an investigation, according to the IG report. The misconduct extended beyond potential theft of equipment to cybersecurity issues, according to the IG. Uh, which again presented his briefing back in September 2016, and we've been covering this since early to mid-February of 2016. 2017, excuse me. Um, I mean, this is, I mean, this is huge. There, you've now got members of the House of Representatives saying that, yo, we need to investigate Debbie Wasserman Schultz over this. So we're finally getting some people in Congress. And a listener said that Jason Chaffetz, you know, has, has been covering this because now Chaffetz is with the media. Um, and, you know, I guess this is one of those things where, hey, all of a sudden you're in the media now and you can bring attention to a case that nobody's been paying attention to when you were in. So now you have the ability to bring attention to it. And that's I think that's one of the reasons that it's getting so much coverage now, uh, because it really hasn't been any major legal development, but Luke Rosiak has been coming out with new information. So now you actually have members of Congress going, we need to investigate Debbie Wasserman Schultz here. There's something wrong. Why was the background check waived? Why was it waived by her? Why was it waived then by 43 other Democrats? What was the reason that it was waived? Because if it wasn't waived, we would have found numerous criminal convictions. We would have found bankruptcies. We would have found debt. Questionable ties to people who are wanted by the U.S. government would have found a lot of stuff. All things that bar you from being able to work in this capacity for various reasons. And so that now that we actually have some members of Congress going, we need to investigate Debbie Wasserman Schultz. We need to know what's up. And I just, on the back burner here, I want you to keep this in your mind. Remember that BuzzFeed has filed a case against the Democratic National Committee. I believe Imran Awan is involved in the DNC hacks. He had the access. He worked for the chair of the Democratic National Committee at the time that the hacks happened. And he hacked dozens of members of Congress. Allegedly. I have to say allegedly. But he hacked... Democratic members of Congress at the same exact time that the DNC was being hacked. Now, that is an amazing coincidence. It could just be that Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was in leadership roles in both of those things, just really stinks in cybersecurity. It could be that there's something nefarious and tied together here. And I am leaning towards the nefarious and tied together. But I believe that Imran was responsible not only for the hacks against members of Congress, but also the DNC hacks. There's just there is far more evidence that he is responsible than there is about any Russian hacker. Period. End of story. We have way more evidence that he could be the person responsible for this than we do about any foreign agent. Unless, of course, he is a foreign agent, which they are investigating right now. Um, But this BuzzFeed thing. BuzzFeed has sued the DNC. BuzzFeed wants the DNC server, which nobody has seen. No law enforcement, nobody at the FBI, nobody at the CIA has ever actually processed the server to figure out who actually hacked it. Nobody. The Democrats kept it hidden and refused access. Which, of course, also makes me wonder if Imran is responsible. Because, again, who headed the DNC that denied access? Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Who worked for Debbie Wasserman Schultz? Imran Awan. Debbie Wasserman Schultz kept Imran Awan on as a consultant long after he had been accused of criminal activity. There's a whole host of weirdness here. Okay? But if BuzzFeed wins that case and they get the DNC server, then we may find out who actually hacked the server because for the first time, an outside entity would have been able to look at the server. Or the server will have been wiped and you know the Democrats are hiding something. Very interesting case. And they're all tied. We've got more coming up. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel. KC Hendrickson. News Talk 95.3, Michiana's News Channel. Your breaking news and weather station.